so we are going to get some things to take care of the tomato garden again. So this could be like, join us in our tomato garden part two. Okay, on the mission for a cart. This is always difficult. We found a cart. Now let's get some dirt. everything we needed we, we need but we are running to get chicken because we are hungry chicken is good chicken's good right I like chicken I like chicken too but the plan is we are going to weave use the uh, what is it called the burlap the burlap netting and we are going to sew it together to make a net to go over the top of the you can see we have more bamboo sticks here we already have six at the house we put in yesterday and strung some ropes, so that was step one. Now you guys will get to see step two and building a shade net for our tomato plants because, like we said, it's going to be 109 degrees today and they were wilted last night, so we don't want that to happen anymore. Quick, just going to prep the bucket for planting. the strings, the ropes, the thing about you. Blah blah blah. Aroma is the center of our garden. So we're gonna weave. That's okay. It's sewing together the two parts of the uh, burlap netting. She's sewing them together so we can make one big square net which we will stretch right over the top. So this should be pretty cool and should be pretty shaded. Shade to our plants, but it's kidding. It's it's just it's fuck. It's just pardon my language. It's just getting miserable. Yeah, so I hope you can see me. I don't even know if you can see me. You should be able to see me there. So it's time to run strings over the top. so hot I couldn't we couldn't film and finish but it's finished the plants will have shade now as you can see I think my camera's lens is falling back better much better but right, here it is and it looks really good you can see the shade from these trees over here has already come in and it's covering them up but you can see under here where they're fairly shaded but you can definitely see where's this at right here you can see the shade line let's come in yeah see these are getting shaded by the trees now these back behind me but right in front here these are all being shaded by this I mean I can almost stand up inside so it works and what we can do is this plant is probably is obviously still our tallest but we can train it to grow up into these strings 
that run up like this, and it will grow up along this and hang down with fruit. Hi. Yeah. Show, baby. Oh, take him in there and show him stuff. Well, tell him. You tell him. here tonight uh, we did some work today it was so hot today so I didn't want to set up any of the cameras because the cameras get really hot and when it was 111 today with the heat index they said right we got to yeah. 111 and you can see well, you see like sunburn I don't know if you can see that I'm sunburnt as well uh, I don't know if you can see it but yeah I'm just it hurts <laughs> but we the, we noticed our tomato plants were getting sunburnt as well so well, we put a covering over a sunshade, which was a uh, three foot by 24, three foot by 24 foot, yeah, three foot by 24 foot uh, roll. So we rolled it out and we flipped it over itself and we cut it in half. So then we had two 12 foot uh, long, three foot wide sections, which if you can see here, Jessica took her time to sew them all together like that and then we put it over like a sheet with all these bamboo stakes and then tied it all there I mean we use some wire ties in some places and things like that but now all the tomato plants are under a shade they will still get UV there is music we have music in here music for the the plants hopefully we don't get copyrighted but that's fine if we do uh, wind chime in here. It's pretty sweet. All the plants look very happy now. But it's very nice and it looks cool from the outside. I'll give you an outside tour. You see we did some lines to Detroit. Now you see I got, I found a way to reuse these ping pong balls that I've had for no reason. I put them on places so we can see wires, hopefully keep birds from landing. Because if a bird goes to land on it, it'll probably move a little. So yeah, looks pretty cool. Now our plants shouldn't get uh, too sunburnt during the day. We can still water them. We put this light in. As you can see, you can unplug the lights. Maybe Jessica will plug them back in for us after we look around it for a second. You can see it with the lights off. But also it's giving them some shade from this light that's on every night. But they've grown fine. They've been here the whole time. Go ahead, plug it back in, babe, and let's show them. Show everyone one last time, you can see. Just a nice quick idea, and here's the thing. We bought three packs of the bamboo steaks, and they were, I think, $4 a piece, so call that 12 bucks. And then uh, the burlap was $10. So for under $20, we already had all the string. I mean, we had plenty of string. We had all the string we needed. We used a couple steaks, you can see here, to make sure in some spots that the plants weren't being pulled over by the roof but it's actually fine the water will go right through it rain will go right through it all right how was that it's all that stuff that was good so yeah i guess the tomato garden is doing very well uh please like this video if you like what you saw please subscribe uh let us know what you think and this is something you can do yourself diy but yeah oh oh let me add that out here on the corners when you put the bamboo like this, it's out past the point. So instead of tying a rope down to the ground over there, just tie on bottles like this. And here's a smart water bottle. See, it's out this way. And it's actually making it bow just a little bit, which is keeping this completely taut. When the wind blows, it was barely moving. Yeah. But there's bottles all the way around. You can see out here in the center, we got I got ping pong balls on the line so that if a bird lands, it'll kind of just, it'll spin, it'll rotate and it'll make them get off. But I think it looks pretty good. Jessica likes it. She said it's nice. And we got the wind chime in there and then I've got this Hawaii one over here that I restrung today that Jessica's brother got for me. What?
Yeah, we'll have an update after it rains, and we'll record a quick update. With uh, we'll come out in the rain and see how the rain goes through it and all that kind of stuff. If it ever rains again. Like so, here we are. I know we said goodbye, but I just couldn't stay away. Stay away. I had to do something else, so I added the light. Nice. Pretty cool, huh? Well, thanks for watching. Like we said earlier, got a wind chime in there. Still got the music, but now it looks a lot cooler. All right, thanks for watching. Good night.